Welcome guys back to another video. So today we're going to be tearing into this E46 325i or CI. It's a five speed manual. So uh, these are very desirable. I had to drive 12 hours just to pick this thing up. Totally worth it. Uh, but it's been sitting since October. It's already March. So I have not had time to actually tear into it and get it all fixed up. But now it's the time finally. I've been very patient and very eager to get this thing back on the road, but hopefully we can get this thing done in close to a month. Obviously, this is my hobby, so I work on this stuff after work. And yeah, this was originally supposed to be a drift build. I actually bought some coilovers or upstairs, uh, some cheap uh, eBay ones, but I bought some coilovers for this thing. We could put the coilovers on, but for now, we're just going to ride it stock. I have another pair of wheels over there that we could actually put on this thing and yeah i mean kind of okay build not too much nothing crazy i wanted to install headers since we are taking out the head so what's wrong with this one needs a head rebuild or actually it needs a new head gasket but obviously you might as well just rebuild the head since it's out so hopefully the valves are okay uh obviously the head's probably warped because it was overheated so we're gonna go um get the head off get it resurfaced check the valves hopefully the machine shop doesn't charge me too much to do the valves but basically that's all this thing needs i actually drove this car before purchasing it with a bad head gasket so i drove it around the block and then put it on the trailer because i did not want to drive this thing no longer i didn't want it to mess up any more than it already is so as far as i know all it needs is a new head gasket i started tearing into it already so i could get the head off Oh no, there we go. So what I basically did last night, it's on time-lapse, but I got the, I basically got the injectors loose. This, uh, this whole injector rail clipped, got it off, got the whole shroud for the, for the cabin air filter off. And that gives you a lot more room to work with. I unplugged the O2 sensor. So all the O2 sensors over here, all the wiring is already on this side. Uh, undid half of the wiring on that side and the intake should be kind of loose. The only reason it's still in here and I didn't take it out last night is because I need to vacuum all these leaves so nothing goes into the intake ports. Not like it matters, the engine's coming out anyways, but just to be sure, uh, I wanna do it right. So I need to vacuum all those leaves out and then take out the intake manifold and that way I have more space to actually start taking out the head. So yeah, tonight we're gonna start tearing into it fully and uh, actually get the head out, hopefully but we'll get the intake out at least tonight so i'm pretty excited about that but yeah we'll be back tonight to fully disassemble this thing
so we got everything assembled to kind of give it our first test uh, start. What I'm concerned about is the O2 sensor uh, connections. Those are not, um, th they might be flipped backwards. So the car might run horribly for now. We don't have secondary O2 sensors. We only have primary ones. So the engine's gonna be running off the primary ones, no secondary. So it's gonna have a catalytic converter uh, light. Um, this car now has racing headers. The exhaust is connected. Uh, there's water. Uh, I'll put new oil in it. So we should be good to kind of give it our first test try, see if it starts at all. Uh, I really hope I did the timing right. So at this point, I'm just crossing my fingers. So let's go see if we can get this thing to start. So it's not leaking any fluids from the priming for the fuel system. So the feed line for the fuel rail is Stalled correctly. There's fuel pressure, which there should be up here, the fuel pump priming. So. Definitely fuel. All right, so I did a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, I believe the starter was just like stuck. Uh, it's been sitting for a while, so I don't know what was going on, but I jumped it. It kind of spun a little bit and I guess I freed it up. Now I'm actually able to spin the engine. Uh, I didn't have anything connected, so that's why I stopped. Uh, but now we're good to go and see if this thing will actually start. Right now it's on the jack stands, so it's kind of unleveled, but uh, it should be okay. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we can start it at all. <laughs> Dude, yes. Let's go. It starts, that's good. That's great. I'm so relieved. Well, it runs, I don't know what else. Uh, honestly, just button everything up. Uh, see where that ticking is coming from. It is a little bit weird um, for it to be ticking like that, but it could be just the incline and not enough oil get into the lifters. The lifters, uh, obviously they've been outside, not primed, so. That's definitely a sound from the lifters, but they all went in perfectly, so we should have zero issues there. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's knocking or ticking hard. It just sounds like lifter, uh, like lifter noises. So this thing is finally running. It's currently, right now it's May. I bought this car in October and it's been sitting since, so. I'm really, really happy we got this thing together. Finally, it started, so I'm so relieved. Now, on to the little stuff, and that was the biggest problem with this car, it was the engine. But now it's on to the little stuff, like painting this stuff, um, putting coilovers on it. I have a set of wheels for it, so we're just, this car is gonna come together quite nicely, and then it's gonna go up for sale since I already got my E36. I don't need an E46. So 
I'm really happy. Finally started the car. So now we can get it out of here and out of the way so we can start working on this beautiful G35. But yes, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Next video, we're going to be driving this thing. Check out other videos. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Man, it's been a while. It's been so much work. It's so exhausting. See you guys next video.